NASA's retired space shuttles delighted onlookers as they headed toward museums in 2012. And launch. And a new spacecraft SpaceX blazed its own path toward the International Space, space Station. In May, the Dragon space capsule, launched atop a Falcon 9 rocket, became the first private craft to dock with the ISS. The rocket and capsule are developed, owned, and operated by the California-based company SpaceX. The docking signaled more than one breakthrough to SpaceX's chief, Elon Musk. I'm really excited because this was a crucial step. And, and having achieved this step, it makes the, the, the things in the, in the future and the ultimate path towards humanity becoming a, a multi-planet species much, much more likely. NASA is also working with Orbital Sciences Corporation, which has developed the Antares rocket and Cygnus cargo craft. A demonstration flight to the space station is planned for 2013. NASA Administrator Charles Bolden. We're handing off to the private sector our transportation to the International Space Station so that NASA can focus on what we do best, exploring even deeper into our solar system with missions to an asteroid and Mars on the horizon. NASA is constructing the largest rocket ever built, called the Space Launch System, and the Orion Capsule, a craft that can take astronauts 15 times further than the International Space Station. An unmanned trial mission is set for 2014. There was plenty of interest in NASA's next generation capsule at a science festival in Washington. I'm glad to see the whole like space programs going on to, I don't know, it seems, I don't know, to my, me at least that that all was kind of dead, but it's live and well, it looks great. NASA has contracts with three U.S. companies working on crew vehicles for manned missions to low Earth orbit. SpaceX says its Dragon capsule is designed to carry cargo or crew, and plans a manned test within three years. Boeing is working on its Crew Space Transportation 100 capsule, designed to carry seven people and land on the ground. Sierra Nevada Corporation is developing a winged spacecraft called Dream Chaser. These partnerships with NASA spur innovation, says public affairs professor Howard McCurdy of American University in Washington. In the short run, SpaceX is ahead. They're, they're, they're more developed. Uh, in the long run, it's the same contest we played out in the 1950s, wings versus gumdrops. And uh, nobody knows at this stage which is the superior technology. Through its partnerships, NASA says it is on track to launch astronauts from the United States within five years. Suzanne Presto, VOA News, Washington.